but I'm vlogging. I gotta do my video. Hey, what's up, internet? Kyle here, Slapshot Toys. Really interesting day. Uh, so the wife and some friends. Hi. Hi. We all went to a wine tasting at one of our local shopping centers, and in the middle of the tasting. <laughs> all of a sudden the alarms start going off saying there's an emergency reported and we had to leave and all sorts of craziness. We don't see any cops or anything like and all the security guards don't seem to be too concerned about it. There's a public safety vehicle. So there's a public safety vehicle right here. So don't really know what's going on other than we had to come outside and we're all just sitting waiting to go out. But anyway, I think there's a there's a hot topic in this little mall section, so Gonna go check that out, see if there's any good pops there. So, crazy day, crazy start to this uh, hunt week. So, yeah, as soon as we're done with the uh, tasting, covered hot topic. Uh, hopefully, they let us back in the building at some point. So, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Uh, yeah, so interesting day, but after we're done with this, go check out Hot Topic and hopefully find something good. So we found out that it was actually uh, some guy in a truck had his fumes, like not in the parking garage, but like in a, I don't know, like a, you'd say like a kind of a loading dock and he just left the truck running. So the fumes set off the alarms and that was all the issues. So not a big deal. They got it all cleared out. And then we uh, got to go back in the restaurant and finish our wine tasting. Uh, now just walking on to Hot Topic, gonna see what pops they have. And yeah, it's really windy, it's like about to rain. I know there's supposed to be some storms tonight, but let's go check out Hot Topic. Shelly. It is the Lockjaw New York Comic Con exclusive flocked pop. I thought that was really cool. So I bought that for my friend Shelly. I got this. And then Shannon bought myself. the Snape as Bogart. I don't no. know. I got this. Bogart as Snape. Apparently our neighbor Seth bought salt. Bogart as Snape. Okay, sorry. It's a Harry Potter pop. So yeah. she bought that. The only thing I bought was a brand new hat, which I needed. So I bought a new hat. Good friend Seth got a peanut butter cookie. He's really excited about. Yeah. And then Jenny, Show what right you here, got, Jenny. she bought a pop. That's oh, oh it says hat. Sorry, Seth also bought a hat. <laughs> she bought a looks like diamond kind of encrusted Dumbo, which looks really cool. My topic. Diamonds yep. for only 15, 14. <laughs> so this would be my wife's form of collecting all sorts of holiday decorations, all sorts of fall things. We're slowly getting it out of the storage space down in the basement. So she's putting it all up today since it is October already, which is kind of crazy. But yeah, all sorts of fun fall things for today. That's all the stuff she we normally have up she's taking down. But all sorts of crazy fun fall goods. It is a rainy Sunday afternoon and the wife just sent me out on an errand. We're gonna go visit some friends this afternoon or this evening actually and they're in town from California and we haven't seen them in a while so we're gonna go hang out with them but I had to go buy a dessert item for our little hangout this evening so I was like that's the perfect chance to just run over to Walmart real quick grab something to eat and then check out their toy selection not really hunting for anything super in particular right now I would like to find some of the vintage uh, 
Marvel Legends, like those ones on like the card and the little bubble package. That would be kind of cool. Uh, the two I really want to find are Wolverine and uh, Punisher. I uh, did watch today the new Justice League trailer did release. I gotta tell you, I watched it and it just doesn't do anything for me. I Maybe it's just because I'm, I'm a Batman guy and not much else in DC, but I just, there's something about it. I just, it just, I don't know. Hopefully it does look like at least maybe this time it's a more straightforward story. They're not trying to shove like five different comic story arcs into one movie. So uh, hopefully that's a little better. I'm sure it's going to have some phenomenal action. I mean, that's the one thing that Zack Snyder does really, really well is some amazing looking action pieces. Uh, even if some of his movies don't tell all the best stories and aren't that coherent. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, the trailer looked good. Um, it's nothing. I'm not like super excited about it like I am Thor Ragnarok. I think that one looks like it could be really really freaking cool uh but yeah so that released today thought it was pretty good uh let me know in the comments what you guys thought of it so yeah let's go to walmart and went with some classics went with just some sugar cookies and then just a standard apple pie nothing too fancy there as far as my dessert items uh, they actually did have some pretty cool stuff as far as the pops and figures go they had a Wonder Woman pop uh, that was a Walmart exclusive that I hadn't seen before it looked like she was holding one of the um, uh, one of the little boxes as far as legends they actually had the entire uh, Marvel Knights wave except for Blade. They would have had Blade, I would have bought him in a heartbeat though, but unfortunately they had everyone but him. But they also had that amazing two pack with Spider Man and Vulture, and man, did that freaking Vulture look absolutely stunning. Uh, that thing looked really cool, especially since it's like a classic comic version, and the wingspan on that thing looked amazing. Um, yeah, I, it was really hard not to pick that up. I, I, if it would have been just one, like just Vulture by himself, I think I definitely would have gotten it, but. A two pack with another Spider Man that I really don't need. Uh, I just, it's hard to pull the trigger, but man, I really wanted to. I, oh, I wanted to buy that so bad. Uh, but I didn't. Uh, it's still in there. There are three of them. I might come back. I don't know yet. I'll have to think. I'll think. I'll have to think about it. But yeah, so a pretty successful Walmart trip. They had some pretty cool stuff. And hopefully hit up Walgreens on the way out to Oxford, Ohio this evening. And hopefully maybe they have one of the vintage ones or the Cloud City Duel. So. I'll see you guys at Walgreens.
just got out of my fourth Walgreens of the day. I uh, found a lot of the exclusives, just not the ones I'm looking for. I saw the Legends Human Torch. That looks really cool. I'm just not a big Fantastic Four guy. So I'm just, I, there's two of those at the Walgreens right by my office. So I just left those for someone that is actually a Human Torch fan. Uh, not something I'm really that interested in, unfortunately. Did see that really cool Sally from Nightmare Before Christmas. That looked really cool. It was like a flock cat with a glow-in-the-dark Sally. I've never seen like a kind of a, not really a two-pack but like two items like that and the sticker was kind of cool flocked glow-in-the-dark. I thought it was actually a chase at first and I got really excited because I've actually never found a chase. Uh, but yeah that was cool and then what was the other thing? Oh then the red guards I don't know what their official names are from Star Wars. They had a I think both of both of the exclusives of those which does look pretty cool but once again I'm not I'm not trying to get too much into secondary characters or that type of stuff in Star Wars so I passed up on all those and unfortunately I did not find what I was trying to look for which was the Cloud City but I'll keep looking on but since I'm over at the Walgreens I'm at in Westchester I am going to go get some canes because I freaking love canes so I'm gonna go get some food see you guys uh, could I get a uh, three finger combo with an extra cane sauce and a Coke to drink, please? So with the weather being a little bit colder, the wife has been begging me to make my chili. And so I figured I'd go ahead and do it for her this evening. Happy wife, happy life, guys. Remember that. Give you guys a little insight to my secret recipe. My three secret ingredients. A nice stout, brown sugar, and some honey. Oh man, I hate onions. So I just got a notification from my buddy Craig that Walgreens near his office actually might have a couple of the Cloud Cities. He said they had like quite a few left, uh, the, I think over the weekend. So I was gonna give it a shot and come over here and see if they had any left. So let's go to Walgreens and hopefully we find a Cloud City. So I just got out of Walgreens and I am super freaking excited because as you can tell by the footage, they had one Cloud City left. So, got the last Cloud City there. They did have three more wedges. Um, I really wasn't all that interested in the wedge. He's really cool, I think he looks awesome. He's just not something that I really wanted in my collection. So there's three in there. Uh, I told Cincy Nerd uh, that they should have a couple there. Man, that guy was flying through the parking lot, jeez. Uh, but yeah, so I told him, so hopefully he gets one. Um, and if anybody else watches this video, hopefully it'll go up either tonight or tomorrow. And if you guys are looking for Wedge, hopefully they'll still have some left. This was the Northland Boulevard near Tri-County Mall if you're in the Cincinnati, kind of Westchester, north of the city area. So they had three Wedges and yeah, I got the Cloud City so I'm super excited. Super glad this hunt worked out this well. And now I gotta go back to work which kind of sucks but eh, it is what it is. I got a Cloud City. Hey, what is up guys? thought I'd just do a little close out to this hunt video. I was able to find my awesome Cloud City. Super, super excited to get that. I'm actually currently at home right now just waiting for the UPS man to show up because I have something special coming in the mail that I cannot wait for. And of course, usually the UPS man comes, I don't know, around noon. Uh, right now it's already three o'clock and he's not here yet. And I actually took a half day so I could be here when he arrived. But of course he's late on that day. But anyway, to give you guys a little hint of what's coming, uh, my hat is where it's coming from. If you guys know what logo that is. And my shirt is the character that's coming. So you guys could probably put it together. So yeah, just waiting on that. And yeah, just actually just got done editing the video. I'm about ready to post, except for this little ending. So that's the reason I went ahead and filmed it. Awesome couple days of hunting. I was able to find Cloud City. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find the vintage Marvel Legends, but I'm definitely gonna keep a look at on those. It seems like most people aren't finding them in Ohio yet. So as soon as I start seeing them pop up in Ohio, I'll definitely start hunting again. I do think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break on the hunting videos. Um, I have a crap ton of stuff I need to do reviews for, so it's probably gonna be a lot more of the review videos coming up uh, more than the actual hunt videos. Really the only thing left I have to hunt for right now is the vintage legends, but I'm gonna kind of wait until I see other people finding them out in the wild in this area. So expect more review videos and it's definitely tomorrow or maybe tonight, depending on how quickly I can get it up and edited and everything, uh, what I'm waiting for from UPS, I may get that. I definitely have the review up by tomorrow morning, uh, possibly tonight. 
so yeah, so good week at hunting, and hope you guys found everything you guys were looking for, and you guys have fantastic weeks. So I'll catch you guys later. See ya.